hello and welcome to the reading room. Having a bit of a shifty round here to fit everybody in. Um, with me in the studio today, we've got Joyce Kenny. Morning, Joyce. Good morning. Fiona Shaw. Good morning. Good morning. Steve Mudsley. Hello. Steve Farragher. Hello. Otherwise known as Captain Farragher. <laughs> and Mr. Edward Cotton. Bonjour. Ooh. And uh, in the studio with us now, we've got... Robert Edwards, I think you prefer Bob, is that right? Bob's fine, yeah. Oh, lovely, right. <laughs> and good um, morning. You've come in to talk about uh, your new book, recently published, called Liverpool in the 50s, the 1950s, and it's a photographic... It's, it's part of, it's published by the History Press, and it's part of the Britain in Old Photographs series, based on mainly Liverpool Records Office photographs from right. the City Engineers Department. Right, some of our guests over there are having a shuffle through, <laughs> and I hear yeah, a lot of it. Um, could you just firstly tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your, your own background? I've been a police officer with Merseyside Police. I was a publican. I worked at Wirral Metropolitan College as a lecturer. And latterly... I uh, run a website, which is where the, the whole idea for the book came from. The website's been going now for round about three years. Right, so have you got an interest in photography yourself? Yes, I have. What are your own personal memories of life in Liverpool in the 50s? I was born in Athol Street, just after the war, so at that time it was really austere. It had been left in carnage by the Luftwaffe, so there were very, very few of the old buildings left, of the old streets left, and obviously there were new buildings going up, the council building new flats. Rationing was still in force, although you could get some things that you couldn't get during the war years, it was still pretty tough, and our playground was bomb sites. You from smile when you say that, because <laughs> <it was, laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of fun with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 26 bricks you could build a living room and <laughs> <laughs> it was brilliant uh, and if you were really lucky and, and there are photographs in the book in the summer you could go down the pier head even if you couldn't afford to get on the ferry and go over to New Brighton you could go down the pier head you could watch the ferries coming in and out or you could do what I used to do which is get on the ferry and keep going backwards and forwards all day and hide in the toilet when the man came out to collect the money Confessions <laughs> <laughs> They'll never get me now it's too late Can I jump in when uh, I just snatched the book off Bob and I brought a nice way off thanks Bob uh, a lot of the pictures here uh, I've never seen before, Bob. I mean, where did you source them from? I started the website liverpoolpicturebook.com about three years ago, and that features mainly Liverpool Records office photographs. And people didn't want, people weren't messaging me saying, Have you got a photograph of the Blackie or have you got a photograph of the Albert Dock? People were messaging me and saying, My gran lives in Montague Street where the Royal Liverpool Hospital stands now. Have you got any photographs of those streets? Yeah, you want pictures of your street from when you were a kid? I wanted to get as many previously unpublished photographs in there as possible. Now, I was really lucky in that respect because uh, I'm also the administrator for, for my Liverpool forum. I started by a guy called Peter Shields about seven years ago. And one of the ladies on that forum, Kath, her sister unfortunately died just over a year ago. Their father was a guy called Johnny Lockhart. Johnny Lockhart was a Liverpool photographer. He went out with his kids and he took photographs all over the city and he brought them all back. When he died, his studio, his dark room at home was just locked up. When Kath's sister died, she came over grabbed a whole pile of 127 rolls of film and got them developed. And a lot of those are in this book, and these are things that have never, ever been seen before. Mm. There's a picture here, Bob, page 34 of your book, and it's the top of uh, Brunswick Road by the Gregson's Well. Now, I was, I was born just Ratcliffe Street, just literally opposite there. It's actually renamed the street now, but uh, it brings back memories to me. But as I say, Bob, there's a lot of pictures here, but I'm fascinated by well, it. That, that's a great picture because it, it shows just, both Bob's, it's both yeah. Gregson's Wells yeah, facing yeah. each other. Well, I was born in 1958, so I was the tail end of the 50s, so I can relate to a, a lot of the stuff that's in here. And that's, a, that, that's actually a Liverpool Records office photograph, and we're very lucky in that respect mm, in the yeah. city because in 1896, uh, Liverpool Records office decided that they would photograph the work that they were doing. There's over 158 thousand photographs in the LRO archives and it's a brilliant resource and there's loads of them in there that nobody's seen yet and they're the ones I'm hoping to find 
uh, for future publication. How do, how do you go about sort of deciding or, or knowing where to look? Because people were getting in touch with me and saying, have you got a photograph of where me, me and used to live? Have you got a photograph mm. of where me Auntie Alice used to live? And the, I started looking along with a, a friend of mine, Jed Fagan, who, who wrote me in the City Living books. Uh, and his, his are mainly about the tenements. We started uh, collecting these photographs and putting them online for people to look at. And then I started getting emails from people saying, well, aren't these in a book? Can I buy them? Mm. And there's 10,000, roughly. Mm. So nobody's going to publish a book with 10,000. Well, I mean, that's what I was going to ask you, because when you said, where, you know, when, how do you know where to start? I was going to say, how do you know where to stop? Because that <laughs> must be, you know, you must well, have so much stuff for, for some yeah, areas. Yeah, really is. It's... it's when when do you yeah. stop? Because it's now, so personal, isn't it? You know, you could go around everyone in the room and go, oh, I just want to see that, and I just want to see that, and, and everybody would want to see something different, wouldn't they? What I did with Liverpool in the 1950s, if you if you read through it, you'll see that it it's actually got uh, a little strategy. It starts in Bootle. It moves from Bootle to Liverpool 5. It moves from Liverpool 5 down to Grace Homer Street and then Everton and then Shoebrook and then up to Kennedy. It's a bus so route. It's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a bus route in my head, actually. And, and that's the only way I could control what I was doing. Bob, can I just mention that uh, I'm liking the fact, because I know how difficult it looks easy, but it's not writing captions. I like the fact a lot of you, most of your captions are interesting to read as well, and that's so important in a book uh, like this, isn't it? Thank you for that. But yeah, it is. Uh, I think your photographs do quite, you know, they, they really depict, they don't just depict the, the, the landscape and the, and the areas, they de depict the lives that were being lived there as well, you know. Um, oh, that, that's very much the idea. I mean, the, the, the whole idea of the book is so that people can relate to it. People can look at the book and say, well, I remember that area when I was a kid and the people that lived there and the friends that I had there. It's, it's, it's not just a... And you've not just got buildings in there, you've got real people. Well, mm. one of the things, and you, you've got, actually got to open the page now, it, it, I've actually got a whole chapter on Liverpool City Police in there, which I'm, I'm really, really pleased about. The Liverpool City Police website, uh, which is run by a guy called Brian Starkey, uh, that's liverpoolcitypolice.com, he gave me permission to use the photographs and there are some amazing photographs in there that he, 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 they haven't been published before. And the photographs of the early work of, of the police in, in Liverpool, of history. So what's the reception been like so far? Excellent. I was in Waterstones in uh, College Lane about a fortnight ago on a Saturday. And it's that fear that everyone as a book signing must go through when you go in and you see this big stack of books on the desk and they say, there you go, sit down, give you a pen and walk away. And I thought, nobody's going to come in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be sitting here for an hour on my own looking out the window. And within two minutes of me sitting down, I had a queue. And this book, this stack of books on the desk, I just watched gradually drop and drop and drop and drop and drop. So I'm in uh, Waterstones in Bowl Street on 15th from one o'clock for an hour. Right. So, so the 15th of June, at Waterstones, Waterstones on Bold Street yeah. from one o'clock. So if anyone go wants down, to come down, get a uh, signed I'll copy. Be there I'll, 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 sign, I'll be signing right. Where else there. can we, we get the book? Uh, the book's available online from Amazon and the History Press. It's also available from a bookseller on eBay. It's available from Tesco online, and obviously it's available from the, from all the good bookshops like Blackwell's, Waterstones, W. H. Smith's. News from nowhere. Oh, it, obvious thing to say, but it'd make a really nice birthday or Christmas present. This I it think. was. I think it's just got such a wide appeal, hasn't it? You know, it, even to people who weren't born in the fifties, like myself. Oh. You know, it. Oh my! I don't I think I, oh vaguely <laughs> remember <laughs> 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 to get that one in. Didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the Facebook page again? The Facebook page is Old Photographs of Liverpool and Liverpool Picture Book. Liverpool Picture Book. And the website is www.liverpoolpicturebook.com. Right. Thank you very much for coming in. And we'll be back the first Monday in July. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.